Okay, here we have another problem um, involving numbers, numbers of a different type. Uh, let's say we had uh, two football teams that played a game. Uh, they played each other, and uh, one team scored four points less than twice the other, and together they made 50 points. How many points did each team score? So again, we have a problem that fits this category right here, dealing with numbers. And so how do we approach that? Well, we have two football teams, one scored more points than the other, assuming there's a loser and a winner. I, and um, so let x represent, and usually you want x to represent the smallest quantity, so let x represent the number of points the losing team scored. So let x equal the number of points the losing team scored. Now you may say, oh, why do I want to write all that? That's a lot of waste of time and effort, and why not just write let x equal the loser? Well, that wouldn't be quite correct. You really want to write what x represents the number of points relative to the problem. So since we're looking to find out how many points each team scored, you really want to let x represent the number of points, and in this case, the number of points of the losing team. So if x was equal to the number of points of the losing team, then how many points did the winning team score? And here they tell us, one team scored four points less than twice the other team. I'm assuming that's the winning team. Even if you're wrong, it'll still come out right. Uh, so twice this would be 2x, and then four less would be minus four. So this is twice the number that the losing team scored, minus four points. That's four less than twice the number, and so that equals the number of points the winner scored. Scored. There we go. That doesn't look very good. Let me rewrite that. So again, I can't emphasize enough to really write down very detailed what each represents. So now we need a constraint. We need some sort of information that allows us to figure out what those numbers are. And they tell us right here that together they made 50 points. That means if we add it up together, that should equal 50. So the um, the number of points that the losing team scored plus the number of points that the winning team scored, that must add up to 50 points. There's our constraint that will allow us to solve the problem. Now we just simply have to uh, solve this as a linear equation. We put all the x's on the left side, they're already there. Put the negative 4 the, on the other side, so we end up with uh, x plus 2x equals 50 plus 4. Remember when we cross the equal sign, the sign changes, we combine like terms, x plus 2x is 3x, and 50 plus 4 is 54, divide both sides by 3, the numerical coefficient in front of x, of course that cancels out, we end up with x equal, 3 goes into 54, 18 times. Okay, now did we find the right quantities? Now we assume that 18 is the number of points the losing team scored, 18, and if we double that, 2 times 18, so 2 times 18 minus 4, that would be 36 minus 4, which is 32. That would be the number of points the winning team scored. And if we add them together, sure enough, we get 50. So the answer seems to be correct.